we are going to be adding success and danger color palettes to our Angular theme. If you would like to follow along in the written tutorial for this, then go to developer.fireflysemantics.com and type in success, and that'll bring up the written version of the tutorial. The link to this is also in the description below. We'll go ahead and just start with our Stacklets demo. So we're going to scroll down here and click on the demo. And that's going to open up our Stacklets. And this is going to boot in a web container that we used to add the uh, colors to the uh, Angular theme. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on Source here, go to our styles.scss, and this is going to be our starting point. All right, so for starters, we have the three color palettes that Angular normally takes when it's creating a theme. And these are the primary, accent, and worn palettes. And we use Define Palette to create these. We've also created color palettes for success and danger that you can see here. And uh, we're going to be merging all of these palettes together into one single Angular theme. So in order to create uh, the merged colors, we have created this uh, SCSS utility set of functions here. And we have an FS dark theme function and also an FS light theme function. And the dark theme function first creates the uh, Angular theme that uh, Angular would normally take when it creates a theme. And we've created another SAS map with the success and danger color palettes in it. And then down at the bottom here, we go ahead and use map merge to merge both of these together. And we're also doing the same thing for the uh, light theme down here. So first we create the uh, normal Angular theme. We create another map containing the success and danger color palettes. And then we go ahead and merge that together. So we'll take a look at how that's used next. All right, so we're back in the styles.scss file, and we're going to go ahead and use the uh, fs dark theme function to create the dark theme. And we're going to pass in the primary accent, worn, success, and danger color palettes. And then once we have that theme, we can go ahead and do a map get on it, passing in the danger and success keys to get the danger palette and the success palette. And then once we have these palettes, we can use map get color from palette, passing in a specific hue get a specific color. And in this case, we're just getting the default colors. So this is the danger default, and this is the success default. And we've gone ahead and debugged these color values out. So we have the uh, danger default here and the success default being logged here. And if we look at our terminal, we see that the uh, danger value is this value right here. We can open up a new tab in Google, Google Chrome, and we see that that's that color right there. And if we copy the success color, open it up in Google Chrome and paste it in, we see that this is the success color for the default value. And so that's how we add additional colors to our Angular Material theme. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe. And we hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one.